Uh, good morning. Uh, we want to thank uh, the University of Houston downtown and Dr. Flores for uh, hosting us here at uh, uh, this little gathering. I'm Bob Sanborn. I'm president and CEO of uh, Children at Risk. And we're here for uh, a couple of purposes. One, uh, a couple of years ago, we launched at Children at Risk, the Children at Risk Institute, working with all the academic institutions of higher education uh, in the Houston area and in our region of Texas, we decided that we were going to bring academics together to really focus on the needs of children in our community. What type of research could we, could we follow? What type of research could we initiate to really change outcomes for children in our community? And we launched the Children at Risk Institute. Um, it's been a great uh, success in regards to directing some of the research at Children at Risk. But also about a year ago, we decided that we were going to launch a journal, the Journal of Applied Research on Children, uh, JARC. Uh, and the idea behind the journal was that we would, on a uh, semi-annual basis, uh, bring academics again from all over the United States to focus on some of these issues. Our inaugural issue, we're proud, proud to announce, is on Latino children. This is the thing that we understand about Latino children, is that things are changing in our country. Cosas están cambiando aquí en el país de los Estados Unidos. Están cambiando aquí en Texas, están cambiando aquí en Houston. This population is changing and we need to react. And so the research that we're highlighting today uh, from the Journal of Applied Research for Children uh, is, is research specifically on uh, Latino children. Uh, some very good findings have emerged from this research. Uh, one is we know the population is changing. Steve Murdoch, the former head of the Census Bureau, has written an excellent article in the journal about how <clears throat> Things are going to change no matter what we do. Things are changing in the United States. And with Latino children, uh, we are seeing a great majority in the United States. And in a sense, in a very real sense, here in Houston, we are a picture uh, of what the future is going to be for the United States. We also know that there's not enough physical activity for our children. Uh, and more, more activities, more organized activities need, need to be out there for children, uh, for Latino children. Uh, so we have some excellent work on that. And also the teen pregnancy rate is too high in, in Texas. The teen pregnancy rate is too high in Houston. It's too high for uh, teenage Latinas in our country. And so we're directly addressing some of that as well with the research. 